Yo, what is going on, guys? It is SSX Deuces, and man, this pat this today's Bleach chapter was just ridiculous. If you haven't read it yet, go read it right now. It is, it is a great day to be a a KSK Udahara fan, man. Uh, sadly, I didn't feel like playing J Stars and playing through the Bleach characters again because I'm pretty sure I've done that for past reviews. So I'm just putting one of my my most wanted fight ever. Uh, just on computers, just Sasuke versus Neji, they're both computers, just to see who will win. Uh, anyways, let's get into this Bleach review. Uh, I'm gonna re I'm review a bit of last chapter, to get, cause I haven't reviewed Bleach in a while, so, uh, I just caught up. I, I only missed last chapter in this one, well, this one, I didn't really, I, I, never mind. So basically, what happens last chapter is, um, Yodoichi goes into, uh, this Thunder God mode, which... Basically makes her feline as hell. Basically, she can't even understand English. She becomes a legitimate beast. Like, this is Yodoichi's beast mode. So, she goes into that and she starts messing up the eyes and lookalike, dude. I really don't even care to learn the dude's name, to be 100% honest with you guys. He just, I, I call him eyes and lookalike just because of the hair, so. Um, so, they get, she gets to a fight with him and then she annihilates him real quick. The Bleach chapters are really, really short, by the way, as well. Like... I feel like they're getting shorter. Like, leave a comment down below if they, if they feel like they're getting shorter for you guys, too. But, yeah, basically what happens is they get into a nice little a nice little skirmish. She ends them quick. And she's such a feline to the point where, um... Keisuke can just call her over to him like she's a little kid. Like, hey, Yoruichi, come here. And then she comes over there and he pets her a bit. And she licks him in a very... It was weird, but she was, like, in cat mode so I guess it wasn't I don't know I'm just gonna just gonna leave that up to you, you guys of what you think of that but uh anyways so the chapter ends there actually no I think it doesn't uh anyways uh the lookalike guy comes back and I guess what we can call his bankai form or just just in a powered up form and then he does um he puts the whole area into a thing of poison <laughs> And, um, basically leaving, uh, Keisuke to fight him. Uh, in the next chapter, they fight, or today's chapter, they fight a bit. But, um, he proves to be a little bit too strong for just, uh, Shikai, uh, Urahara. Like, they fight a little bit. He wrecks him for a second. Like, he slashes him in the eye. He puts this ring thing through his eye, but it doesn't even phase Urahara. He says, oh, so that's the... You want to do cheap tricks like that? I got you. Bun. Kai. And then it's just the realest thing. Urahara has shown us his Bankai. And it's a beautiful woman. Very similar. Uh, it looks like it would do something sort of similar to um, uh, Miyori Kurotsuchi's. Uh, of course, we can't predict yet because nothing it hasn't even done anything yet. It's just been shown at the end of the chapter. So uh, we can only leave it to our imagination. But, man, am I hyped to finally be seeing Keisuke Urahara's Bankai. Uh, tell me what you guys think about it. Do you like the look of the Bankai? you have any hopes and aspirations for what the Bankai will do? What do you think the Bankai will do? Will it be overpowered enough to take away, to take out this Aizen lookalike? Or, I mean, I don't even know, man. Like, just, just I, I have high hopes for Urahara's Bankai because this is the guy that helped suit away Aizen. And if he doesn't get anything less but a victory, I'm going to be quite sad. Uh, anyways, this has been SSX Deuces, and I will talk to you guys next time.